Good morning, Marshall Science Middle School. My name is Mr. Fryman. And my name is Cole. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Here are today's announcements. New choice boards are up for this week, so be sure to check them out. These assignments will be posted today and will be due on Monday of next week. Today's weather forecast for Burlington shows a high of 62 degrees and mostly sunny skies. So enjoy some fresh air out there while practicing your social distancing. Yesterday, Ms. Purchase sent out an email to all students. Here's a little excerpt from that email. She writes, This is an unprecedented time in history and an experience that we are sharing. Learning is not a choice, but, what, but you do get to choose what you learn. Stay connected while keeping physical distance. Stay physically active and read every day. And finally, you don't have to be physically inside MSMS to continue to show MSMS pride. It's important to remember that virtual meetings are new for all of us, and we are becoming accustomed to how to have larger group discussions when using this tool. We expect that students follow the procedures and expectations set forth by the teacher or leader who is hosting that meeting. It is expected that students engage respectfully with each other as well as the teachers during these virtual meetings, just as we would as if we were in school. Next, you are invited to your grade level meeting with Ms. Purchase, Mr. Murphy, and Mrs. Chin, Chin Fine. A link will be emailed to your grade right before the meeting begins. Grade 8 students will be on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Grade 7 students will be on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And the grade 6 st students meetings will be held at Thursdays at 2 p.m. As we continue Autism Awareness Month, I wanted to remind you that people with autism have terrific memories. Think about this. How often do typical people forget directions or fail to take note of colors, names, and other details? People on the autism spectrum are often much more tuned in to details. In many cases, they have a much better memory than their typical peers for all kinds of critical details. In fact, a surprisingly large number of people on the spectrum have photographic memories, perfect pitch, or even an almost perfect memory for songs, poems, and stories. This skill can be a huge asset in situations ranging from direction finding to writing a family history. So just as Mr. Marino said in yesterday's announcements, continue to wear blue this month and share your picks by emailing Ms. Chen Fine or responding in a private message on Instagram or Facebook at, at MSMSBPS. Please remember to check your choice boards, Google Classrooms, and your school email daily. Rem rem read 30 minutes each day and get outside for at least 30 minutes of physical activity. And today's pride quote is on respect and comes to you from author and activist Brian H. McGill. He writes, one of the most sincere forms of respect is actually listening to what others have to say. So, with that, Marshall Simons, I'm Mr. Fryman. And I'm Cole. Make, Make it a great, great day. day.